lettuce eat. She's lettuce eat, and you're in for a treat when you watch lettuce eat. Dollar Tree clean with me, zoning and decluttering. Zaire, Jacqueline, Dave doing his thing. Dutch oven meal hacks. She's coming back. She's coming back. This is Let Us Eat. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link and checking me out. We're going to take care of my kitchen sink and countertops this morning, get it cleaned up and ready for the next meal. If you're new, we do giveaways every 100 subscribers. We'll get into that a little later within the video. Check out our Clean With Me playlist, the link's down below. Smash on that subscribe word. Let's get started. It's not always picture perfect when I wake up in the morning, but for the most part, we usually keep it very clean. This drain is empty. We're also going to wash that down and wash underneath it. And we're going to clear off all the clutter on the counter surface here and take care of the mess and wipe it down. I have some cleaning wipes that I use from Dollar Tree. They are excellent. They're called Scrub Buddies. We're going to take care of the sink this morning. We're going to get all those dishes washed. We're also going to wash down the dish drain and underneath it. Then we're going to take care of the sink itself and get it ready for the next meal. We're also going to get everything off the countertop. And we're going to use a good disinfectant to give the counter a nice clean. I'm going to remove all the beer bottles and water bottles first. Get them off to the side. The counter surface is now cleared off and I have the orange LA Tolly Awesome from Dollar Tree. It works really well. I've been buying it for about three to five years now and I keep a stockpile of it. And I have the Scrub Buddies wipe and get the counter surface ready for the next meal this morning. We're going to get that dish drain right into the sink so we can wipe underneath it. I use the little black thing there to keep it slanted so the water goes right into the sink and not my floor. And it keeps accidents from happening because the floors can get really slick when wet and you just want to practice safety measures. Now I'm going to wash out the dish drain. If you don't have a dishwasher, it's very important to maintain the dish drain because you don't want to put clean dishes on a dirty dish rack. So I clean this every other day. Sometimes I clean it at least four to five times a week. It depends on how many dishes we wash throughout the day and week to keep it nice and clean. So when you do put your dishes into the dish rack, the dishes stay clean. Now we're on to the sink and we're going to start washing out the right hand side first. Get all the dishes cleaned in it. I'm going to use the rest of the soap in this little bottle. I try to decan soap and I normally don't do it and I'm not very happy with the decanning process of that. So we're just going to keep our dish soap right in that big jug. I'll just keep the jug underneath the sink when not in use so it doesn't appear on the counter and seem cluttery. The spray bottle that you see, the red one, that is to help really stuck on foods by Brillo that we picked up recently at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to give that a two thumbs up because it really worked well on stuck on foods like sweets from pies or spaghetti sauces in a crock pot. And it got the surface of the area super clean without a lot of extra elbow grease. And I recommend it. If you find it, scoop it up. Now we're just getting the rest of the dishes washed on this right hand side of the double sink. Then we're going to take care of the ones on the left hand side. I don't want the water screeching hot, just hot enough where it feels like a slight bee sting. And then we're going to take care of the mugs and glasses. The soda can will get set to the side to put in our recycle bag on the back porch for it to go to the bottle plant. I'm going to do the utensils. I always do the top of the utensils and the actual body of the utensil. Make sure there's no food particles stuck on it anywhere. And then when I do those little plates, I always check the rims of the plates because sometimes there's hidden food particles within the rim and you don't want that on your dish. Now we're going to finish taking care of everything else in the sink, including the rack for the deep fryer. What I do with that is I just take the back side of the sponge and I rub on it and get it clean. And then I rinse it off thoroughly to get all the food particles. 
And let's take care of that deep fryer rack. Once I rinse out my coffee filter and uh, the handle, I just run the sponge up and down it and make sure that it's not slimy when I rinse it. The rack can be a little tricky at times because chicken pieces get stuck in it. We use it for making french fries and our chicken wings. And we're just scrubbing it with the opposite side of the sponge. It's hard to get a good angle on what I'm doing. Now we're rinsing it thoroughly and it's going to go right into dish drain. Before I even wipe down the sink, I'm going to empty out the little red food catcher. These were picked up at Dollar Tree. They're a single pack. They used to come in a double pack, but they stopped that and now they sell them singly. So we're going to spray the sink out with the hose first. Make sure there's nothing in the basin area. Then we're going to spray it down with the LA Totally Awesome and take care of everything on the left side that you see there. The cans and the bottles and the jar. Get them removed out of the way completely so they're not an eyesore when you walk into the kitchen. And I just sprayed it down with the LA Totally Awesome and I'm going to rinse out all the spray and just take the sponge and go over the wall areas of the sink as well as the basin to make sure there's nothing stuck on it like you would with a plate or even your crock pot to make sure the sink is clean and ready for the next meal. Now I don't say ready for the day anymore because I maintain my kitchen throughout the day. This will not be the only time that I clean my sink down. I'll clean my sink after every meal and snack as long as the dishes are full enough. If there's one to two dishes in the sink they can stay until the sink is full enough because you don't want to waste soap for a small amount of dishes or water or even hot water for that matter. Now we're going to just wipe it down a little further that the side is all cleared up and get that ready for the day. I do also keep an eye on it throughout the day when I'm maintaining the kitchen just to make sure we don't have any rings from drinks or cans on the counter surface. This is a very old kitchen. We've been here about 13 years now. And the house itself is about 140 years old. We like the area where we live. It's a nice country setting, still close to the city with an excellent school district. And my oldest graduated from the school district and my youngest will be in high school next year already. She started the school district when she was in pre-K. The sink is nice and clean. I've done it in minutes. You get under the dish drain. The dish drain, uh, those dishes will dry then they'll get put away and the counter surface is clutter free wiped down and disinfected ready for the next meal some areas of your home are perfect some aren't we're human so go tackle an area of your home that needs immediate attention do a cleaning burst and get it done the giveaways are gift cards ten dollar amounts listed down below if you're new you need to comment in order to qualify please be kind our newsletter will be out this week. If you're interested, you can email me, countryboots1268 at yahoo.com. Our social sites are linked down below with all of our playlists. Thank you, everybody, for your continued ongoing support. Have a fantastic day. Smash on that subscribe button, and thank you so much for watching.